guys! Good morning! May buntag sa inyong tanan. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. It's October 22, 2020. And we are on our second episode of Breakfast and Blessing. So this morning, um, pag-uusapan natin um, power and wonders that God can do to our lives. You know, um, I think well, our summer viewers out there may pinagdadaan ng mabigat or may karamdaman. There's an illness or a disease or a sickness that you are experiencing right now. But you know what? This morning, pag-uusapan natin kung paano tayo bilang tao, no? How can we connect to God? How can we um, align ourselves to the purpose of the Lord in our lives? And after that, ang wonders na kaya niyang gawin sa buhay natin like healing, uh, we can take away, take away all our diseases, lahat ng mga dinadaman natin mga karamdaman, mga sakit, o mga pighati. Not just the physical na mga pinagdadaanan, but also um, emotional. No? Emotional stress, emotional instability na pinagdadaanan natin every day. So samahan niyo ako guys this morning as we again talk about the wonders of God, His miracles, His goodness, and His kindness. At the same time, samahan niyo ako because I will be cooking again. Magluto ulit tayo because since it's breakfast and blessing, so um, I will be cooking something, mag-share tayo. And then, um, I will prepare a meal for myself, of course. Para sa sarili ko lang. Ako lang naman yun nandito. Um, I'll be creating or uh, I will be reinventing yung ulam kagabi, which is adobo. And I will be doing adobo rice this morning with cheese sa taas. And medyo maanghang siya. And siguro ako lang ang masasarapan nito. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that um, the word of God na isi-share natin this morning, mabubusog dapat kayo. Mabubusog talaga dapat kayo. Dapat. <laughs> so guys, let's do this. So guys, ayan. As I have mentioned earlier, gagawa ako ng adobo rice sa ating second episode ng Breakfast and Blessings. So I've been eating, of course, yung adobo, yung tirang adobo kagabi, and kanin, syempre, um, and all the other things para ilagay natin sa ating adobo rice. So, wala akong maisip for our second episode, but I just hope that I will enjoy this kasi ako lang naman yung kakain ito. And, ayan, tara! guys, we're done cooking our <laughs> our adobo rice. So, ito na po siya. Tcharen! O, oh, diba? Yaga-yaga. <laughs> Basta may makain lang. So, ayan. Um, this morning, kakasabi ko nga kanina, and again, good morning, good morning, good morning sa lahat ng nanonood ngayon. Nakakarating lang. Hi sa inyo dyan. May buntag sa inyong tanan. Um, ayan. So, as, as I was saying kanina, I'll be sharing this morning about the wonders of God and how is He that amazing and what is the role of our faith with our healing, no? Sa ating sariling, sa ating sariling kagalingan, sa ating sariling um, healing process, what is our faith's role? Kasi sabi nila, um, once we are healed now, ayan, we are healed with our, through our, um, through the, the, the power of God, 
we are healed through the power of God given to our mga mga doctors, di ba? Because God created these doctors, God created these mga medical mga medical personnel. And kung ano man yung power na meron sila, it should all be credited to God pa rin. We know na magagaling to sila, no? Mga doctors, I salute them, mga frontliners. But ito sila, alam na alam nito nila eh mga doctors natin, alam na alam nila na they are nothing without the power of God. So, the knowledge, the wisdom that they acquired from studying all of these things, galing pa rin yan sa pinaka-source which is God. And God provided us with physicians, very good physicians. And God provided us also with very good mga medicines and kung sino man yung mga nag-create ng mga medicines na yan. Again, galing to lahat kay God. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong umaga ay isang topic about healing kasi there was one time na ayun na nga um, a, a, a woman no a woman uh, i don't know her name and we can hook it up later sa Luke but before that titikman ko muna ang adoborize labe mm. guys with cheese yan and of course egg my tomatoes yeah, anything else in between? Hmm. So, ayun na nga. Medyo maanghang siya. <laughs> Pero ginusto ko to sa laban. Let's go to Luke chapter 8 verse 43 to 48. Ano ba yung Luke? Ayan. Luke chapter 8 verse 43 to 48. And it says here, and a woman was there who had been subject for bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Diba? Amazing. The word was immediately. The word was not later. The word was not after five minutes. Or the word was not a few moments later. Kang sabi dito, immediately. Her bleeding stopped. Next verse. Verse 45. Jesus asked, Who touched me? When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. Verse 46. But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. No? It's amazing how Jesus could actually know. Diba? Because he's all knowing. Alam natin yan. Pero, na, sa, sa daming tao on the crowd, because they were they were there, no? nagtapok sila tanda na sila, nagsagot kay sila. No? Walang, wala silang social distancing. Doon, sa process ng kanilang pag, pagsisikipan and when everyone was pressing against each other, Jesus knew. Jesus knew that someone touched her. Sabi niya, somebody touched me. Alam kong may, nag, may humawak sa akin because I know that the power has gone out from me. So there was a power inside inside kay Jesus na nihaw asaya ha. Because when somebody touched him, no, nung may, nung may humawak, and to, to think ha, it was just the edge of his cloak. Sa dulo lang ito ng kanyang balabal na suot. And when someone touched Jesus, Jesus right there and then, he knew that the power came out from his body. No? Na ay gahom na nigawa sa lawas ni Jesus. And how does this happen? How does this happen? Now, Dito kasi sa Old Testament, we know that Jesus is the healer, no? Uh, I mean, in the New Testament, when Jesus was there, sikat siya. Kilala si Jesus doon sa, sa kanilang bayan sa Israel na, na kanang, he is, he is all powerful, he can heal. And this woman, I, I don't know her, I don't know her, her, her purpose, kung anong, kung anong iya yung gigunitan, bisan ang tumoy lang, paminaw ha, ang iyang gigunitan, ang tumoy lang sa sanina ni Jesus. But then, a power came out from Jesus. And Jesus knew that the power was already gone from him. No, namurag, Ush! Nainiana ba? Nainigawas? No? May kapangyarihan na lumabas sa katawan ni Jesus. And he knows that it was transferred. No? The power was transferred from him to another person. And this person touched him. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 47. Then the woman seeing that she could not get unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. This woman, kasi gusto niya, kasi, kasi syempre marami tao, and she's thinking, uh, sana di siya mapansin, 
kasi ayaw niya nang ayaw niya nang magsabi but then she I, I think she felt guilty she came trembling down and knelt at the feet of Jesus in the presence of all the people she told why she touched him and how she had been instantly healed no? sinabi niya dito na uh, uh, ako ako Jesus ako yung humawak sa iyo and I, I'm instantly healed then he said to her daughter daughter your faith has healed you go in peace so at this point no at this point in time this woman tapos siya kay Jesus and sinabi niya hey ako po ako yung ako yung nagtouch sa edge ng damit niyo and agad-agad i knew i was healed i know i am healed right there and then i'm healed no you know what guys In the, in the New Testament, grabe ang miracles ni Jesus. Klaro kayo, hindi matago. And all the people there, gustong gusto lumapit. Gustong gusto makafeel ng presence ni Jesus. Of course, kung ako po siguro, oy, if I was there in the presence of Jesus, no, I was in the midst of a crowd, and I know na naa si Jesus, dira, no, sa vicinity, I would, I would really go to Him and I would touch him by all means, no? Basta pag magkinaon sa mo, duol gid ko. Mo duol gid ko, di ko maula, basta pagdagan tao. That's Jesus. Si Jesus yun, no? And kisa man ta, para magayagahi, o di mo duol sa iya. Now, I know some people. They already know. They already know the the answer to their problems. They already know the answer to their illnesses, to their diseases. And alam nila yung sagot. Alam nila yung key, No? Pero sabi nga ni Jesus, PM is the key. Sabi niya, no? Nakana if na kay mga ginaagian, if na kay mga pagsulay. PM mo lang ako. Pero sometimes mga god bilang kita no na tao. Ang problema natin. Ano may problema natin? Our pride. Why? When pride comes in the way, Yan, naana dira, no? Ang tubag, naana. But because you have pride inside your heart, because you're too proud of yourself, that you don't need anybody else, that you're too proud of yourself, that you can do this on your own, na hindi mo kailangan ng kahit sino man. Because of that, maglisod taog pa doon sa main source. Kasi, we are too proud. And many times na po, many times na po nangyari, na yung pride nyo, yun yung naging dahilan kung bakit di ka nakakasurvive sa buhay. No? Bisa gutom na kaayo, gutom na kaayo, kutoy na kaayo as no in-invite ng barkada. Pero kain tayo. Sige lang. Okay lang po. Busog po ako. Pride. Gutom na dayke to, pero pabusog-busogan. Gutom na dayke ayo to, pero di gid magtugtugan na gutom na dayke sila because of pride and because siguro nahihiya, pero I'm okay. Kain na lang ako sa labas. Kain sa labas. Wala mga kay kwarta, di ba? Sometimes, sometimes our pride gets in the way of our deliverance, di ba? Kasi nga, ma-pride ka. Kasi nga, ma-pride tayo. And all we know is our ourselves. Tayo lang, di ba? Bakit? Ano ba ngayon? Ano ba? Di ba? Marag ka ng... I don't need anyone. I can do this on my own. Ganon tayo. Ganon ang mga tao. Now, when we go back to the story of this woman, no this woman who was who was healed by Jesus sorry we have to know na si Jesus Jesus never said okay open na open na audition kasi gusto mag audition no Jesus never said that sino gusto ma-heal sino may mga sakit diyan lapit-lapit lang tara lapit-lapit lang no there was no offering of that, no? The the table for healing is not yet open. So wala 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 may wala siya nang imbita kung kaysa gusto mo duol. But then this woman because of her strong faith. Listen to this. Because of her strong faith. Ni duol siya. Wala siya nagunahon na about her pride. Ang iyang giisip ihang need. You know guys, when you need something, no? when you need God, when you need when you need healing, when you need when you need 
when you just need him. No? Pride, whatever that is, wala dapat na siya'y lugar sa iyong kasing-kasing. When you open up to God, when you say that, Lord, hindi ko na kaya. I have an illness. May sakit ako ngayon. I need you to heal me. I need you right away. Ngayon agad, Lord God, I don't need anyone else. I just need you, nobody else. Lord. Ikaw lang. Now, God will see that. And God will know. No? God, Jesus, He will, He knows if you touched Him. No? Pag imuha lang gunitan, bisan ang tumoy lang, ang tumoy lang sa iyang sanina. Dili ang sanina ang nakahil. Dili ang, dili ang, dili ang, kung nakagunit na kasi ang panit, dili ang panit ang nakahil. What healed her is her faith. Because she knows na wala na may ibang sagot sa lahat ng ito eh. She knows na wala, wala ilaing, pwedeng mahimong sa, sa badere, but si Jesus lang yun. And if you know that in your heart, na si Jesus lang, wala kailangan ginaon saan, there's, there's a big possibility that you, na ikaw mismo, you will, you will get the healing that you need, you will get the healing that you want. Yes, and ikaw, di ba? Ikaw sa iyo mong kahimutangan ka ron, kung asa man ka karon, ro'n, kung asa man kang ibutang sa ginoo ka ro'n, you can send me a message. You can give me a message and and tell me um, kung sa iyo mong ginabati, kung sa iyo mong mga ginagian problema ka ro'n. I can pray for you. I will pray with you. no? Kasi wala ilain tubag sa kinabuhi no? ng mga problema. But you know what? Prayer lang yun. I think money, of course, money is also an answer to our problems. Pero... Pinaka strong diha po ng prayer. No weapon was formed na maka na makatibag sa gahom sa Ginoo. No weapon was formed, no, to to to, to crush the, the purpose and the plan of God in your life. Now, ako mismo ako, it, this is a testimony no kasi ito, just like the woman and the story, nagtestify siya. Niingon gyud siya na, Lord Jesus, ako to, ako tong imong gi-heal. There's a big chance na when we testify for something or of something no pag mag testify ta na i am healed or god has been so good to me you know what your testimony will be sealed no labi na pag isultin na nimo sa ibang tao because you share it to other people and they know na ay may pinagdaanan ka palang mahirap noon and nalampasan mo pala yan because of the power of god inside your heart kasi minsan ato gyud ang sikreto di ba na kanang na anagud kaayo gibuhat ang Ginoo sa imong life oy daghan na kagibuhat sa imo ha pero wala ka nang testify imo lang siya yung nasikreto imo lang ginatago para di lang imo masult di lang gyud makabalo ang mga tao kasi siguro because of pride na din pero you have to admit that na minsan sa buhay mo God was the answer no na minsan sa buhay mo siya yung naging sagot sa lahat ng problema mo siya yung naging sagot siya lang yung only no nagiisa sagot sa mga 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 hinaing ng buhay mo and I think God deserves the credit. No, I think God deserves the credit na malaman ng mga tao na kung ano man yung pinagdaanan mo, si God, si God yung tumulong sa iyo doon. Kung ano man yung mga bigat na naranasan mo, walang iba, walang ibang nandoon para para tulungan ka. Kundi si God lang. I think siya lang naman talaga yung answer sa lahat eh. We just don't seem to recognize the fact na ganun. And ayan na nga. Hindi naman siya maubos. Always ko naman din nauubos. Pero ubusin ito ni Erika. <laughs> ubusin niya ito ngayon. So, ayan, again, good morning sa lahat na nanonood ngayon. Good morning sa inyo. If you have problems, if you have things that you want to pray for, if you have illnesses na may mga karamdaman kayo, we can pray for that. I can pray for that. Well, don't hesitate to PM me. Ganahan kayo kung magampuan and your, 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 kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, no one will know. Just it's just between you, me, and God. Pwede natin pag-usapan yan, and we can start the conversation right there. And we can you, maybe you can have deliverance right after. You know what? God is just so amazing, and He can do all these things sa ating lahat, no? And in this show, sa Breakfast and Blessing, I believe na maray pa tayong pwedeng maging testimonies soon. Wala lang pa tayong nato na compile karon ang mga stories of God's goodness, of God's greatness, no? Pero darating tayo jan. Before we end, I just wanna share this. Last, uh, this verse, no, from Jeremiah 32, verse 27. Let's go to Jeremiah 32, 27. And it says here, I am the Lord and God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? That's the question. Sabi niya, di ba? 
Is anything too hard for me? Ano ba? Na, na, ako na to. Ano si God? Ako na to. I am the Lord, the only God. Ano walang mahirap para sa akin. So kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, kung ano man yan, whatever that is, tell that to God. Tell Him all your cares. Pray to Him. Talk to Him. He will heal you. Because there's no, there's nothing hard for Him. Because He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. So ayan guys, thank you so much for staying. I hope that you are blessed. I hope that you had fun. You learned something. And see you again next week, next week Tuesday for another episode of Breakfast and Blessings. God bless. Bye. Oh, what?